Hey everybody, Dinner Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on Taiga Saiba's route on Chapter 5, A Gift of Roses. We're officially together now, and we've gotten to see some of his sweet side, though just a little bit because he doesn't like to show it too much. <laughs> but it's really cute. I hope to see you more soon. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Fortunately, since Taiga had done the talking, the chief wasn't too mad at me. Less people realized it was me in the photo than I thought, so damage was minimal. Still, I was a bit too inexperienced to be assigned to him permanently. For now, I was semi-permanent, and as such got to spend a lot of time with him. Hey, Darily. Hmm? When are you going to let me in your house? I can't. If someone gets a picture of us there, everyone will know it's me. Then come to my place. That's even worse. There are paparazzi all over the place. Then love hotels it is. Bah. So, this is the only place we can be. No, like I said, hotels. <laughs> hey. He skids closer to me. Everyone knows it's us anyway. What makes you think that? You're loud when we do it. They can all hear you. No, I'm not. So, you can get louder. That sounds like a challenge to me. Recently, Taiga had only come to me when he wanted my body. We never went on dates and never saw each other's place. I think that's because that's all he knows, really. He did say he didn't really know what to do. He didn't really say he loved me, and it made me uneasy. Hey, Darily. Really. He slid his hand slowly between my thighs. Taiga? Yeah? I want to go on a date. Well, I thought you were afraid of getting your picture taken. But I might go somewhere with you. You're so needy. Besides, I'm too busy right now to go anywhere. His hand between my legs started to wiggle around. <sighs> Isn't this good enough for now? As he whispered into my ears, my mind began to dull from the sensation below. Even so, I couldn't help but feel uneasy. One day, I went to see a fashion show that Taiga took part in. Even if we couldn't go on a date, I could still be able to be with him like this. The ticket he gave me was for a seat in the middle of the front row. It felt conspicuous sitting there, so I felt relieved when the lights dimmed down. As the show started and the spotlight hit the runway, the crowd erupted with cheers. Taiga walked out as the first model, so I didn't have to wait long to see him. Taiga! Walking gallantly down the runway, he was met with screams from swooning women. His face looked so dashing. It was serious and determined, unlike the face he put on for TV. With his shirt hanging open, a glance at his chest made my heart thump loudly. His eyes showing just a speckle of tenderness stared sharply out at the crowd. Any woman would surely fall in love if they met the gaze of his eyes. I stared up at his lips, his hands, his body enraptured me. Suddenly, our eyes met. Uh! I turned away embarrassed, only to look back a few seconds later. It looked like he was voicing some message to me. Is he mouthing something? I read his lips as, you look like a moron. <laughs> Yeah, that's very sweet of you. How endearing. That clearly wasn't nice. With a dazzling smile, he turned and exited the runway. Did you see that? He said something to us. <laughs> he told everybody you look like a moron. He said thanks for coming to see me. <laughs> ah, wishful thinking. With the first showing over, the lights in the room returned to normal. Still, the image of his body on the runway was burnt into my mind. Being so good-looking, I bet he's bored of someone like me already. The worry that began growing in my head recently came back to haunt me. Taiga would probably be going overseas to work in the new office soon. He would have to let me go if he didn't want to already. Shoot, it's already started? Someone sitting down in the chair next to me woke me up from my daydream. He had a face that was vaguely familiar. It's Akira. Did I miss anything? Oh, so it's not going to be Ryohei being the guy that Taiga's going to be jealous of in this one, huh? Huh? It was the comedian Akira Semba from the Sonogi comedy duo. Hey, you! He pointed to my face, his lighting up with recognition. You're the joke girl. Huh? I saw you smack your friend when she made a bad pun. It seemed like you had been watching that exchange with my high school buddy. I didn't get to ask for your number. I regret it more than anything else in life. He sure liked to talk a lot. I didn't even have a chance to speak. It's that small ears that drew me in. I can't get enough of it. Words flowed out of his mouth, 
as his cheeks grew more and more red. It simply made it impossible not to like him. <laughs> there it is. That's the face I'm talking about. He exploded with delight when I smiled and grabbed me by the hand. Uh, what's your name? I'll tell him my last name. It's D. Miss D? Yeah. What's your first name? De really? Nice, if you don't mind. The light suddenly dimmed, making the crowd go wild with screams again. As if oblivious to everything else, Akira continued to talk to me. Sometime with... What? It was hard to hear him over the noise of the crowd, so I leaned close to him. Taiga's not going to be happy about that. Do you want to get lunch sometime with me? Ah, oh, Taiga! The boisterous screams of a woman entered one ear and Akira's invitation in the other. It was then that I glanced up on the runway to see Taiga already walking down it. Uh-oh, yep, he's mad. Uh. His eyes glared down angrily at me from the center of the runway. Taiga looked absolutely furious. It's just a guy talking to me. You can't possibly even hear what he's saying. Oops, looks like it's already started. Akira finally noticed the stage, but was so captivated that he kept holding my hand. Oh, of course, he's holding my hand. Oh, Akira, you're going to get us both killed. Your hand! <laughs> Akira stared at the runway, apparently not hearing anything I was saying. There was nothing I could do about it. Ooh, Taiga! Can I try to at least take my hand back? You gotta make a show of it so he doesn't get upset. Taiga scowled at me before heading back to the start of the runway. Did he look scary to you? He's just wild like that. That Taiga is so amazing. Even I'm jealous of him. Akira, you're still holding my hand. Hmm, what? I leaned toward him, putting my mouth next to his ear. Can you let go of my hand now? L sorry, I didn't notice. He leapt up with surprise in his chair and finally let me go. Had he just not noticed or was he just an airhead? In any case, I couldn't hate him. When I laughed, his face turned bright red. However, back on the stage, I could easily tell how miffed Taiga was. He really looked something angry. The first act he was flawless, but the second half was ruined by his scowl. He hadn't said anything, so people thought he was just being wild though. With the second half over, the curtains closed and everyone started to disperse. So? Akira turned towards me and grabbed my hand once again. Stop grabbing my hand! Stop letting him grab your hand, Derily! Really. So what? What do you say about lunch sometime? We could start as friends if... Suddenly, my arm was yanked away from his from behind. Turning around, the irate face of Taiga greeted me. I was about to say his name, but was afraid it might cause a scene. Come on. He grabbed my hand and dragged me away with an irked expression on his face. Ooh, I'm in for it, and I'm actually looking forward to it. The Taiga, the really. Oblivious to the situation, Akira shouted out, but we left before anything happened. Even outside, he said nothing to me. Instead, pulling me forward silently. Uh, talk to him. Hey, Taiga! What's wrong? Don't play dumb, you know what's wrong. He ignored me and kept walking. Come on, tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Taiga, someone will see us and take a picture. Taiga, are you hungry? Should we go somewhere to eat? Taiga, you're hurting my arm. <sighs> Finally, he released me. He stopped walking, but wouldn't look me in the eye. What's the matter? Why are you mad? I tried to look at his face, but he turned away at every chance. I'm always mad. No, you've been smiling for me lately. I can tell when you're really mad. His scowl loosened for just a fraction of a second. Then don't. Don't what? Don't do things that make me angry. His shout echoed through the streets, making everyone nearby peek with interest. What did I do? You got all giddy when I gotta talk to you. I... I didn't. You just go with the flow, don't you? I... I don't know what you mean. You just go with whoever's in front of you, right? Don't say that. It's true, isn't it? If it wasn't me but Akira who found you first, you'd be this. Are you seriously saying this? You'll just leave me once you're sick of me and go to the next guy, right? Taiga... When I saw the pain in his eyes, 
all the anger building in me had dispersed. We didn't go on dates. He only wanted my body. He never said he loved me. Just as I had been worried and anxious about him lately, he had been feeling the same way about me. Tyga, no. I'm with you because of who you are. No one else can replace you. You? Me? His meek voice was drowned out by the noise of the streets. What? Do you love me? Yeah. Then nothing else matters. When his face glowed red and he turned away, it was my time to complain. You'll probably get sick of me and go run off with someone else. No, I'm not leaving you. His shout frightened me so much that my feet left the ground having jumped so high. I'm not tired of you. No chance in hell. Tyga. Crap, let's go. He turned and began walking again. Where are we going? On a date. You want one, right? The kindness in his voice betrayed the harshness of his words. Yeah. With almost everything shut down for the day, we ended up at a theater open all night. Tyga was soon asleep thanks to the love story and boring music. He must have been really tired. His sleeping face looked so cute, I spent the entire time looking at him instead. Damn, that was one hell of a boring movie. Yeah, I can't believe it's rated so good. Did you even watch it? I, I did. A liar, you were busy staring at someone. Y you were awake? How could I sleep with you watching me the whole time? You looked so cute, I couldn't help it. Well, cut it out. You don't get sick of looking at me if you do it too much. I'll never get tired of looking at you. Huh, you've got some sick hobbies there. Let's go. He walked out ahead of me. Unfortunately, it was time to go home. Where to? Hmm, don't you have to get up early? It's already late now. Shut up. You were the one who wanted to go on a date so bad. Oh, darn it, skip the line again. Are you sure it's okay? Hurry up and decide before the sun comes up. I want to go where you want to go. Really? Yeah, where to? The Love Hotel. Of course. <sighs> Joking, but what's with that reaction? You don't like doing it with me. It's not that. I just think a normal date would be good once in a while. God, I said it was a joke. You're impossible. He snatched up my hand and began walking again. Well, where are we going? To where I want to go. Hey, Taiga, welcome. So, are you friends with Subaru's old band buddy, too? Surprised to see you haven't shut down yet. That rotten mouth of yours never changes. Shut it. I was surprised to hear Taiga talking without pretending to be nice. We had ridden a taxi out of town to a small cafe on the outskirts. The owner looked in his 50s, and his face was creased with gentle wrinkles. The cozy cafe turned into a bar after hours. Having said that, the customers were few and far between. Your cafe is doing crummy as usual, I see. Hey, isn't this the first time you bought a girl here? Of course not. Yeah, it is. Welcome, what's your name? I'm Darilly D. Darilly, nice to meet you. It must be rough dealing with this guy. N no we always get along just fine. The hell, Darilly? Cut the crap. Tyga snorted and smirked at me. He seemed to be relaxed here, so I wondered about how he knew the owner. I shall ask about their relationship. How do you know Tyga? Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you about myself. They are losing an old man. You know who you remind me of with that dirty mouth, eh? Tyga was getting along with him better than anyone I knew. He's like my foster father or something. Really? Sounds about right. He doesn't have parents, after all. He doesn't? Well, that's what he said, moron. Hey, Tyga, that's no way to talk to a woman. I'm used to it, really. Looks like you found yourself a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> the one person that can deal with his crap. Shut up, Pops. That's none of your business. His mother raised him alone, but when he was... What, was it four? Five. Five years old, she passed away. Oh, I had no idea. No point in telling you. He was raised by his grandma. I'm just an old guy in the neighborhood. I came here when she wasn't at the house. She was a busy one, designer, right? Always off at work somewhere. Yeah. I see. Did you drop that gloomy face, would ya? But... Here to really have a drink. 
We had some drinks, but Tiger was enjoying himself so much that he had too much to drink and passed out. Oh, how am I going to get him home if he's passed out? He must be dead tired. The owner smiled while he gently put a blanket over him. Yeah, he's so busy these days. Still, he thought to bring you here. Goes to show you how important you are to him. Hmm? He only comes here when there's a big change in his life. Really? Uh, I wager he came just to show me his girl. You must be special to him. I am? He's got a rotten mouth, but he's good inside. I tell ya. I know. I know. It's good to see he found someone that knows him. He was lonely. Lonely? His mom worked even at home as an editor for a fashion magazine. Sounds like she was a busy person. So much that they barely spoke, until he said a word he heard at school. It was filthy, so she yelled at him, but he liked the attention. I envisioned a tiny taiga swearing just to get his mother's attention. <laughs> Over time, it got worse. His mother was worried about it, too. She figured no one would like him if he kept it up. Before she went to the hospital, she begged me. To watch over Taiga? Yeah, and to see that he was more than just a dirty mouth. Good thing he grew up smart and learned how to control it. It's not easy for him. No need to worry anymore, though. You're with him now. Yeah. When I glanced at the sleeping Taiga, our eyes met. However, he closed his eyes again and pretended to sleep. I thought about waking him up. He would just get cranky if I did, so I decided not to. I pulled the blanket up and tucked it around him again. Good night, Taiga. Kissing him lightly on the cheeks, I noticed his face turned red. It was so adorable I wanted to hug him, but I restrained myself. Love you. Sh shut up. He groaned and turned his head away from me. This time, it seemed he was napping for real. I had such a good time, I forgot all about Taiga going to France. Next episode will be Gourmet Report on Jealousy, and I'll be doing more than one episode for Taiga tomorrow. I wanted to do more than one tonight, but it got too late. Because you know I did my birthday thing and all. Alright, so hope to see you in one of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.